Hey paper crafters, it's Jeannie again and I am back with the results of my Two Crazy Cat Ladies paper crafting challenge. This is a challenge that I'm doing with my friend Sonia at Cat Crazy Creations and we have challenged each other to um, to work on our <laughs> Uh, to work on our paper crafting and to get some paper crafting done. Um, so we started in July, as you can see here, here are the, the kind of the, the rules, if you will. But we um, started on July 1st, we're ending it um, on uh, at the end of December, so we have one more month to go. And the challenge is to make paper crafting projects each month, choose your own monthly goal, share on social media, that's optional um, if you would like to, and to have fun. Anybody is welcome to join us, and it's just a little bit of a way to um, to be motivated, I guess, to get uh, to get doing, uh, to get working on some some paper crafting. So I wanted to show you my results for November, and um, encourage you to, if you're taking a look at this video, encourage you to head over to Sonya's channel, uh, Cat Crazy Creations, and it'll be linked below, and you can take a look at what she's been up to with her paper crafting this month. So. I was able to accomplish three 12 by 12 layouts. They're very simple, but um, I'm really happy with them. And then also I did, I'm also, um, Sonia and I are both, um, are both actually cross stitchers. And uh, one of my cross stitch projects, I incorporated some paper crafting. So I'll show you those as well. So, um, so anyway, so let's get into it. And um, thank you for, be for being here. So let's start with my cross stitch projects. Um, these you guys are and I'm sorry about the lighting. It's, it's actually sunny today, but I'm on the back of my house where the sun is and it's in the morning. So I apologize if there's a, a weird glare, but, um, but these are little cross stitch um, bras. <laughs> <laughs> that I made for my coworkers at work. If you're, uh, most of you probably know, but I am a registered nurse and I'm also a certified lactation professional. And so, and I work with a team at a hospital. And, um, and so I made these little nursing bras uh, for, I stitched them up for my coworkers. And then just very simply, you guys, I framed them in these little, these are actually little, um, I think they're a little like name name place frames uh, from the Dollar Tree. Super, you know, super cheap. Um, and they were just the perfect size for the count of fabric that I stitched on. And so um, I had to do eight of these. I didn't grab them all. I figured, you know, you most of the people who are watching this are probably going to be my, my paper crafters. But I just wanted to let you sh show you that I did use some of my mulberry flowers. Um, I used some of my, um, my letters. These are little plastic letters to put everybody's initial. On. There was a various colors of the little bras, various colors of the little frames, and that sort of thing. If you want more information on these, you can go over to my latest floss tube um, and take a look at it, get a little bit more um, information on these. But I thought they turned out cute, and um, and so and again, I've been combining in the last couple projects. I've been combining my paper crafting with my stitching, and so that's what um, that was the result of that. And like I said, did eight of these. I didn't bring them all in here, so. Um, so the, there's that and then let me move my little paper here and show you my layouts and so I hope you guys aren't sick of Halloween but I did um, I did just feel like um, oh my gosh that doesn't look like it's a full 12 by 12 ah what did I do oh well I might have to glue some more paper to the bottom so it doesn't look funny and maybe I can just put it on a black sheet of paper but, um, but yeah, I didn't realize that I had probably used a piece of this. Um, but yeah, so I was recently in Indiana, um, at the trick or treat on main street at my brother's house. And so I was in the mood to scrap, um, some current photos. And so, um, so that is what I did. I have, and again, if you watch my last paper crafting video, you guys, I've been using, uh, papers out of this, this, kind of envelope of leftovers from different Halloween kits and that's what I did and so I'm guessing I probably cut a strip off this paper at some point and didn't even realize it wasn't a 12 by 12 so I'm gonna have to maybe mount this to a black piece of cardstock so just FYI you know we all we all uh, learn live and learn but anyway so I have a sticker here that just said trick-or-treat and then I use some black letter stickers to put on Main Street this is my brother's house and that's me out there giving out candy to the thousands of 
of trick-or-treaters there. I fussy cut, this is a little strip of paper that I had from something else. I fussy cut these little trick-or-treaters and put them down at the bottom. And then this little note, you guys, as you can see, it's in a piece of packaging. And it, this was a note that my sister-in-law left me in, in their guest room. And um, with some little, she had some little gifts for me and stuff when I got there. And I love it. I wanted to use it on this layout. But she, this, this little, um, candy corn it's got a glossy finish and she must have used I don't know if she used a dry erase marker or something but it smears and so I had to figure out how can I um you know preserve that without it getting smeared up and getting on other things in my in my scrapbook so anyway so I just cut down a piece of packaging it's just tucked in there I added some baker's twine to it and then I use some heart stick or heart uh, star stickers I use um, these are some puffy star stickers in black that I had and then I use just a little bit of that um, confetti, of little sparkly confetti on that so and like I said I didn't know till now till I had these on the other layouts that this wasn't fully a 12 by 12 so I guess um yeah I'll be I'll be fixing that when it goes into my album but that's the first one and then my next two you guys are fall uh fall layouts and um I'm excited about this these ones you guys because I was able to um I was able to uh use up a paper pack I had this old fall paper pack I had like four full sheet I think I have one full sheet left of it um and so I was and I used pretty much everything out of my scrap bin so anyway so this is a uh, we have a little uh, pumpkin patch and barn near us and this is where uh these pictures were taken of my uh daughter and her family and so um I went ahead and just did another two photo layout um just layered some things up this um cutout was a part in the kitten it said it said I am thankful for but I went ahead and put a little um, a little fall cutout over it these are mulberry paper pumpkins and that the leaves were printed on the paper and I just added some gold here um, these are up on pop dots just to kind of enhance that little part on the paper these little mulberry paper um, leaves were also oh my gosh I you guys are so so old I don't even know I have this whole big bin of mulberry paper flowers um they're just in like a an iris drawer i could show you that sometime if you want to see it and so i just dug through there and found some things these were in my scrap bin from um, some fall projects projects i made a few years ago and so i just pulled those out and this paper this little banner that i made this was just from the wedding album that i made for my niece so um anyway thickers for the title um so uh there's that little one that I made and I thought turned out pretty and then I have kind of a companion piece here this was the same day um, at that same they had a, a field of um, sunflowers also at that um, at the Avila barn and so um, we, I went ahead and um, made some pictures this is a picture of me um, standing in the sunflower field and they had all kinds of really pretty colors of sunflowers so again I used my I got into my mulberry paper flowers picked out some ones that sort of match the colors in the picture or in the paper um, I just used some beads that I have had forever for the center of the flowers there and they're not all sunflowers but the colors are are a good match this was also this was from a michael's i think a michael's paper pack that i it was in my scrap bin and so i just used it then i grabbed some these are foam thickers that i grabbed out of my thicker drawer and just um use those on there and um and yeah so just a really simple layout got got three four by six photos on this one again this is another one of those of those cutouts from that uh paper pack that i had from um from michael's this you guys was the this was the um, the paper pad that I used, uh, or it was a pack of paper that I used up that I think I got it Tuesday morning. It was from the Farmhouse Paper Company. I don't know. Um, like I said, it's really old. I was look, looking to see if there's a year on here. Two, 2012. So, yeah, so I used up. I have one sheet of it left. This pretty green polka dot. And again, um, is that not fully 12 by 12? Oh, it looks like it is. So, and then the back side is the little fruit and so that's all I have left of that a few little scraps but that's all I have left of that and then um, this other paper that you see these are just these were in my scrap bin 
Um, and again, this was from a Michaels paper pad a few years ago, and I just cut out different ones for these layouts and um, put them on there and used some pop dots and things. So, so yeah, you guys, so that those are my layouts this time. I really enjoyed making them. We've got one more month, and then Sonia and I will decide if we want to continue, if we want to take a break, and we'll let you know. But um, anyway, um, take a look at Sonia's uh what she's what she's been up to and i hope you had a wonderful thanksgiving and we shall see you soon take care bye